Hello, everyone. So it's been a day. It's been a day, a hot day. And I was going to upload a video and I was like, you know what, I'll save it. And I'm going to hop on live because I haven't done a live by myself in a long time. And it's kind of weird <laughs> sitting here talking to myself. Um, I do have a guest with me. Um, you might hear a little voice in the background, but that's okay. It's all good. I'm in my jammies. I hope you're comfy. Um, since I'm on the East Coast, it's like nine o'clock. It's late, but it's okay. So I wanted to talk about um, some ideas that I have for the babies and the children um, in Hope Valley. And um, I'm, I'm actually going to click on a banner to like help the teacher and me like make little points. So I'm going to go with this first. So more students. I, I think not, it's not just that I wish this, but I think that um, we've got like a sparse classroom and I know there's COVID restrictions and all of that, but I really do think that um, the writers and we have a new showrunner, they pay attention to what uh, the Hardys want. And we've seen many comments that say, where are the kids? You know, they're growing up you, and, and people have families. They're going to need to fill in the, um, they're going to need to fill up the classroom. Hasn't been happening. We need it desperately. We'll see what happens. Um, I predict that they definitely will, that they will have, even if they're just like extras that fill up the classroom, that would be great. I think that's where they'll start. And then you never know, one or two of those actors might be really good at what they do and they might become regulars like Anna did and um, Robert, you know. So that's my prediction. We're going to see the classroom fill up some. Um, I know you might be commenting, but I can't see yet because I have my banner. So that's number one. I actually have five um, ideas here. And then next is Robert's sibling. Do you remember the Christmas special where his mother was pregnant and he was worried because she didn't feel the baby and everything turned out to be okay and he was building her a cradle? And I thought, oh, well, this child, I went back and looked the other day, must be school age. We Maybe Robert's, I don't even know if it was a boy or a girl. And even though I went back and I looked, I, I couldn't see. I don't know, maybe you remember what it is. Maybe I missed the detail. But um, that child should be school age about four or five years old. So I'm hoping that we see um, his sibling at, in the school. I think that would be kind of cool to see how Allie would interact with Robert's younger sibling. I don't know. I, I think there's a whole cool storyline there. So I'm thinking maybe we'll see, I don't know, another wolf <laughs> in the school. If not in season 10, maybe season 11, because we, we need... We need to know a little bit more about Robert. I feel like he's going to have a bigger storyline as time goes on too. All right. And then I have, and then I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll click over and see what you're all saying. Then I think in a letter, we are going to find out, you know, one of Bill's letters that he shares with us that Clara and Jesse are either pregnant or had a baby. And um, I think that would be cool because their storyline is progressing, even though we don't get to see them. And they do a really good job, the writers, of making sure our beloved characters, we still feel them and hear about them. So I had predicted last year. So this year I called it, oh, baby, baby. But last year, I think I called it just, oh, baby. And I had predicted that if Rosemary and Lee weren't pregnant in this season, that Clara and Jesse would be because they're like a mirror couple of Robert. I mean, of Robert, listen to me, of um, Lee and Rosemary. And this was before any of the other news came out. This was early on. And then we eventually found out that Clara and Jesse wouldn't be back. Um, and Rob, um, I don't know why I keep saying Robert. I'm sorry. Lee and Rosemary are pregnant, but I really thought that they would have adopted. I thought that as an investigative reporter, they would have stumbled upon something and would have found, you know, like a family or twins. I really want Rosemary Lee to have twins. I'll talk about that in a minute. But I thought they would stumble upon a family of some sort and adopt them. I thought that would be great. And it didn't happen that way. And that's okay. But 
but I still think adoption might be in the future. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that one. All right. So let me see what y'all comment about. I see some comments here. I want more student scenes. Yes, Candace. And maybe we'll see them um, playing during recess. Okay. Um, it was Sarah and she was born one year before Jack. Okay. So it was a girl and her name was Sarah. So he has a sister. We need to see her. Oh, that would be fun. Um, she is of school age. So I think that would be fun. Um, I want to see Robert Sibling. I believe it was a girl per the um, chicken pox episode. Oh, okay. You know what? Good research, um, Candace. I didn't even think to look at that one. And for some reason in my mind, I thought it was a girl too. Um, but I didn't go back and look. Okay. All right. Let's talk about Rosemary and Lee. Ah! You know, I love them. I mean, I love Lucas and Elizabeth, but I love Rosemary and Lee. I mean, I, I think they have um, such great chemistry, such a great storyline. And I am so, so happy that um, they're going to have a baby. All right. So I have some ideas. First of all, there are no real clues from season nine for anything, basically, because they really wrapped it up for the next season. There are tiny little things. And I'm hoping that we'll get some behind the scenes soon. And then that will help us add to um, what our predictions are. Because, you know, you could say anything and none of it is valid or plausible. People are like, well, that's my opinion. Well, you could say an alien's landing in the backyard. That's your prediction. But that doesn't mean it's plausible. So I have to pay attention to the real details. And you still get it wrong. I got things totally wrong with Nathan, but that's a whole other chat. Okay, so let's get back to this. So Rosemary, I, okay, I would really think that it would be a boy, that she was going to have a boy. And I want all your opinions on this. Only because Lee had lost his brother. And I know he has a nephew now. His sister had a, a son, but he, Lee lost his brother. And I think um, Rosemary really, really wanted to have a baby for her, for Lee. So I'm thinking that it would be a boy and it would be a great companion for little Jack. But then I'm like, Rosemary needs a girl. But I don't think that they would take that away from Lucas and Elizabeth because I wholeheartedly think that Elizabeth's next child and her first child with Lucas will be a girl. So I don't think that they would take away from that. So this is the only way I think they would do it is if they got pregnant close to each other. So we know that Rosemary, I mean, Elizabeth's not even married yet. She's not Mrs. Bouchard yet. So it could be that Rosemary has a girl and then soon um, Elizabeth has a, has a child. But before I even get into that, I was also thinking that um, even though she has a baby, right? They have a baby. If they still keep that newspaper, I have a gut feeling like, again, they're going to do some investigative reporting, somehow stumble upon some kind of a story and wind up adopting maybe another child or two. And I would love it. Rosemary with, you know, three kids, she only has two hands, she needs her husband, to, and they would be like a hot mess and very dramatic, and I love that, and I feel like they're going to go in that direction. Now, I'm not saying, of course, this is all happening in season 10, but I think they might plant the seeds for it, and I really do think that Rosemary's baby will be born by the end of the season. I, I really, truly believe that. Um, let me see what you're all saying here because I'm by myself. Um, let's see. I want more student scenes. Maybe we'll see them playing. Okay. Hello, everyone. I still think about that there'll be a connection with the orphanage. Janice, I know what you mean. Yes. From When Calls, uh, when Hope Calls. And, and that is a great idea. And I, a lot of people think that you're not alone. And that is very plausible. And maybe this that's why it's in my head because Rosemary and Lee did go visit. They were seen in that spinoff. So that's a really good idea. I always felt that they would adopt. Yeah, I did too. Even though I know she's pregnant and I love that she is. And I know Pascal had a lot to say about that storyline. Um, I think it would be really cool if they, they, they speeded up the process by adopting. <laughs> so she can have like her own little, her own little, um, I don't know, her own little, um, what is it called? Ensemble. 
Oh goodness. Could you imagine? She's probably going to make that poor child play the piano and sing and act. Oh goodness. Mm. Okay. So now um, this brings me to Mrs. Bouchard when she becomes Mrs. Bouchard. So I truly think that Elizabeth and Lucas, their wedding won't be, you know how a whole season goes by and the whole thing is about the wedding, the wedding. I don't think that's going to happen. I really think that they're going to be married early on. I'm not saying that the wedding, because I think I talked about this before, that the wedding's going to be small or large or whatever. I had some different predictions about that. Um, I just know that they're going to get married early on. I feel it. I could be totally wrong, but I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. And it's only because they've talked so much about it already. They talked about seasons like Elizabeth um, Lucas wanted to get married in the fall, but that would have been right then and there unless he meant the fall, you know, a whole year away when they had the conversation. It was, it was like early fall. And then Elizabeth said, um, I'm, you know, I'm thinking more spring and that what's, that's what makes me think they'll get married early on. Um, and then I, I really truly believe that before the season is out, that she will be pregnant. So I, I don't know. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think it'll be a girl? Don't you think Lucas and Elizabeth will have a girl? Here's my main reason why I think this. They spent so much time on building the relationship between little Jack and Lucas, and they have, um, a really close relationship you know, of course, he calls him buddy and what, and, and that's adorable. But he, you know, he's his father. He's his father. And I'm not even going to say father figure. He really is his father. He's there. He's living. He's taking on that role. And I think that um, that that relationship is super special. And that the next child that they had for storyline purposes wouldn't be a male. I think it would be a female. And then later on, maybe, you know, when we're in season 17, <laughs> we'll see more children and one of them will be a boy. All right, let's see. Um, Faith, I can see Rosemary with a little girl who is just like her. Yes. I mean, yes, yes, yes. The only reason why I don't think it would be a girl is because they didn't want to take that that storyline away from Elizabeth, but that would be so cool because if they had babies not that far apart, the girls would be like BFFs. You know what I would love? I would love that her, her daughter was more like a tomboy because she, <laughs> it would serve her right. Like she'd be out there, like almost like Allie sleeves rolled up fishing and, and do, you know, and playing baseball and all that good stuff. And, um, Elizabeth would get the dramatic, Girly, girly. I don't know. I just think that would be hilarious. I, I'm just that part. I have no idea what the child's personalities would be like, but I feel like that would be great because then they'd be like BFFs and they would be growing up. So let's see. What do we have here? I'm hopeful Lee and Rosemary have a girl and adopt a boy. Okay, Faith. I'm good. I'm down with that. I can see Rosemary with a little girl who is just like her. Um, what's this? We've had enough of planning for weddings. So it is going to be early in the season. I agree. Um, Lee and Rosemary have a girl and Lucas and Elizabeth have a girl. Yes. Yes. And not far apart. Oh my God. Yes. That's what we're all saying is yes, yes, yes. Yes. So that is what I was going to make. Um, a bit. actually I did it and I'm like, I'm not uploading this. I'm going to pop on. I'm going to take a shower, get my jammies and pop on and just see what you all are thinking. Yes. And and that's it. I wanted to say hello. Um I on just before I say good night. Um I wanted to talk about Saturday. So some of you that are here in the chat um will be my guest on Saturday. So I'm hosting a um party tea party, a Christmas in July tea party. And I'm very excited. I have people coming from um New York. And of course, my my um, parties from South Jersey are coming up oh, wait and, and Central Jersey. And um, someone's coming up, um, coming from Virginia. So I'm really excited about it. I was thinking that I would have to ask with their permission, but we might pop on. So you could, we could all get our faces like, like say I was here and everybody's little face was in the uh, camera and we could all say hi and 
and whatever with everyone for like a minute or two. I think that would be fun. And I'm hoping that it gives you ideas because I know that they have um, a Hardee's um, reunion that is going to be happening in September, which I thought was such short notice. I don't know about you, but in Jersey, South Jersey, COVID is rampant. I have nurses that are in my family and they said they have no hospital beds. So, and I'm still teaching. I, I have never had a break yet from teaching. I'm doing summer academy and um, we've had COVID in um, the school with the littles. So um, anyway, I'm hoping that the airports don't close down and those that get accepted can go to the um, hardy party in um in uh, on actual set but that's the thing you're going to take a tour of the set and that's it as of now the cast members aren't even going to be there they're actually going to be filming and um if they are there they are going to be um you know selfies no interaction to be up far as, and in a panel type thing and i thought geez if i were going i would i would really want to interact with them um up i see you got questions i'm coming back to you in one minute so anyway i'm blabbing blah 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 sorry um so I thought we need to have our own little things. I did this last year and, oh, Pennsylvania people are coming from Pennsylvania too. I suggest you do something. It doesn't have to be like a, a tea party. It could be just, you know, your area, put an all call out and say, who's in my area that's a hardy and get together, find a central location and just hang out. Um, we go to uh, Cracker Barrel. I think everybody knows what Cracker Barrel is, right? That's in the United States. We go there, we sit in a corner and we talk for hours and that's not enough. So um, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun. Um, let's see. Let's see what everyone is saying here. Um, Faith. Hi, Faith. Faith. What were you asking me? Lee and Rosemary have a girl and boy twins. You know what, Faith? Listen, I really think that the writers would do that. But the only reason why they don't is because then I think you have to have, I'm not sure I could be wrong. You, you have to have like triplets or quadruplets, which is so hard to find. And then making it a boy and a girl, that would be really hard because of, you know, labor laws, that kind of thing. So they can only have so many hours of work time and whatnot. So I think that's the only reason why they don't do that. Um, but then again, they could just have, if they did it, they could have double sets of twins, like a double set for girl, the girl and the double set for the boy. It's not necessarily that they had to have boy and girl twins. So it could happen, but I don't know. That all sounds a little complicated to me. I think that's the only reason why they don't do it. But I like the idea. And I think that I just think it would make pandemonium. And no matter what, if it's a boy, a girl, twins, have like they have their baby and they adopt, I think that the writers are going to make it hilarious. Like, of course, sentimental, but hilarious. Um, um, those of you, are, oh, oh, Janice is asking, do you wear a hat on Saturday for our tea party? You can wear whatever you want. It's Christmas in July. You can wear your favorite character's t-shirt. I, I mean, wear whatever you want. Whatever you're most comfortable in. Wear your pajamas if you want. We do pajamas all day for our Christmases. So it's pajama day. I'm not coming in my pajamas, though. All right. Faith says, I agree. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that's it. I just wanted to hop on. Um, anyone have any other predictions about babies and children? I don't know. I just know that it is sparse. They both want a girl. I heard that in an interview. Um, yes. So did I, I did. I did too. And Faith, I have to tell you that, um, um, Pascal is very much driving the storyline and working with the uh, showrunners. Well, we have a new showrunner, but they're going to work together, working with the showrunners. And uh, well, he, she's not the only showrunner and the producers and, Liz, you know, Aaron. And she has a lot of say, which I think is great because she has going to wind up with a lot of scenes with this baby, you know. Um, I think Rosemary and Lee will have a hard enough time with one baby. They will, but it's going to be hilarious. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I know there's a tiny delay, so I don't, I'm just going to wait and see. Okay. Who is both Rosemary and Lee or Rosemary and Elizabeth? Oh, good. You know what? Um, good. That's a good question, Janice. Janice is asking, I think it was, um, was yes, Faith, you said they both want a girl. And is that um, Kevin and Pascal? 
would both like to have a daughter or is it um the characters of elizabeth and i never heard hi Gigi. i never heard um Aaron ever talk about Elizabeth's next baby. So if you could clarify what that is, Faith, that would be great. Lee and Rosemary. Okay. And I, I heard that too. I thought that's what you meant. Yeah. I, I heard it in an interview. All right. And that is it. I am just going to end on that note and you all have a good night. All right. Thank you for tuning in.